Dear young people, with you is Sister Angelica Canini Giro, an Augustinian missionary sister. I'm from the Diocese of Meru, living in Mariani. I'm happy to share with you in the area of self-esteem. And also, I'm happy to let you know that I'm doing my studies in uh, answering psychology, and I love to work with young people. And that is why I, have, I am here to share with you today. I will begin, or I would wish to share with you about seven habits to help you to achieve a health self-esteem or a high self-esteem. There is one psychologist who says, life is 10% what you experience and 9% how you respond to it. And I agree with this quote because it doesn't matter what we may experience in, in the process of our life, but really what matters most is when I go through a certain experience, how do I respond to that experience? So we see that in our life, raw self-esteem, the issue of raw self-esteem in security, it happened to most of us or to everyone in this world. But what matters when we experience this, the insecurity at one time or another, how am do I deal with this insecurity? So I'm here to help you so that you may be able to have some tips which will help you in your life. And especially in these days where we know that young people really are facing so many challenges. The first point is about think of at least six things you like about yourself, both basically or the, the person, personality, your personality or your character. What do I mean by the, the when we talk about the, the physical thing, you may like your hair, you may like your physical appearance. For example, if I give example with myself, myself I like of myself my baby face. People tell me that I have a baby face and that makes me feel good and it is true. And many people confuse me to be young, younger than I am. So I also love my size. I'm not tall and many people make fun with my name, which is Kanini. And in fact, I'm, I'm short. So those are some of the things which we need to treasure about ourselves. It's very important to think of ourselves in a positive way. Think about your, your qualities. Think about your talent, which God has given you. Think about your gift, which God has given you. And make sure that those gifts and talents nurture them making good use of, of them. If you are good in singing, if you are good in, um, in the football, in the different games, if you like cooking, those are small, small things. We don't need to think of big things, but those small things are the ones which make the people we are, and they are very important. The second point is about surround yourself with the positive people. Make sure that all of us, we have friends. Make sure that your friends are those friends who give you the message of encouragement, not the discouragement. At times, you may have a friend or you may have someone who discourages you. What are you supposed to do with that kind of a person? In a very polite way, make sure that if you encounter somebody who discourages you or who always gives you negative message, negative information about yourself, try to in a right way, distance yourself from that person and make sure that you are surrounded or your friends are those who give you positive message about yourself. So let us also, as you, the ones who are listening, let us run to give positive messages to one another so that we can be able to uplift the self-esteem of each other. The third point is about stop negative thoughts. In our world of today, we find that there are so many thoughts which are coming inside uh, in us. And these thoughts, at times, they, they are very negative. Maybe at times I may think of others in a negative way. So it's not healthy when we are feeding our mind with negative thoughts. Ensure that, please, 
try to give yourself or to think positively. Choose the kind of the thoughts which you are to think. Think positively. Avoid thinking negatively. And if you have been having that habit of thinking negatively, from today I encourage you, dear listener, try start making a choice. Choose to think positive. Choose to feel good and not bad. The fourth point is about stop comparing yourself with others. People, I would wish to remind you that remember that God loves you so much. And all of us as human beings, we are created in the image and likeness of God. And what does that mean? It means that all of us, we are very unique. All of us, we cherish different gifts, different talent, and there, you can never encounter somebody who looks like you in this world. So that means there is that divinity of God in you. So stop comparing yourself with others. Because when you compare yourself with others, it makes you to feel bad. It makes your esteem to go down. In fact, I always say, compare yourself with the person you were yesterday. Compare yourself with yourself with the person you were the day before yesterday, the, day, the person you, you were last week, two years ago, the person you want to improve. When you compare yourself with yourself, it is only when you can be able to improve yourself. But when you start comparing yourself with others, what will happen? You cannot be others. So that when it will bring negative emotions, it will make you feel down, and emotionally, you will start to deteriorate. Hence, your self-esteem will go down. Then, the other point is about where something you feel attractive. What do I mean? All of us, I do believe that there is that favorite dress, trouser, trouser shirt, coat, name any kind of a skirt or whatever kind of a, the, the shoes, hat, name them. Make sure that there, I, I am sure that there is that kind of a, a dress which you, you, you like most. It's good from time to time, make sure that you, are, you wear smart, feel good with yourself, appreciate yourself. When you wear smart, feel that you are smart. In fact, don't wait for the other people to appreciate you. Learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to feel good with yourself. Learn to say to yourself, I'm good, I'm great, I can. And always believe that the more you appreciate yourself, the more you feel good with yourself, the more you are uplifting your self-esteem. And when we uplift our self-esteem, it helps a lot to reduce some of the challenges which young people are facing today, especially many, there are many cases of young people who have either contemplated or they have uh, attempted to, to commit suicide. Kindly, young people, love yourself and know that God loves you. Do not think of doing away with your life because you are so precious. There is nobody else like you. And I want you to remind you that you have, your life, God has brought you in this world for a purpose. And nobody can accomplish that purpose apart from you. So if you don't accomplish the purpose which God has brought you for in this world, who will do it? Be proud of yourself and go and accomplish that which God wants you to accomplish. Then the, the sixth point is engage in activities that make you feel good at some, something. All of us, as I have said, you are gifted in one way or another. You will find that there are those who are gifted in, a, in different activities like footballs, volleyballs, others are gifted in, in a, they like run, uh, running, others cooking. So make sure that you identify one at least one activity which you like most. And when you feel down, you can be able to do that activity. When you feel that you are down, let me give you some tips, please. Make sure that you, when you feel down, don't, remain, don't shut by yourself. What do I mean? Don't remain silent just by yourself. There are those moments when you may feel that you are very down emotionally. Or, and those are the moments when you feel that your life is useless. You have no meaning in this world. When you experience that kind, those kind of moments, I encourage you, dear young people, look for somebody whom you feel that you are free with, share what you are feeling. Because when you speak out, 
when we speak out emotionally the emotion the negative emotions they are taken away they are taken out of us or those negative thoughts which we have they come out of us and also the others encourage us by listening to us they may not say much to us but by the very act of listening it helps a lot the other thing is you can also decide to journal write down if you what you are feeling make sure that you you put it down write without one without minding what comes out and whenever you finish writing down what what you are feeling you you dispose that paper make sure that you tear it out then because when we write down it helps to take away the negative emotion another tip is it has come in this of the activity when you are feeling very emotionally down you can choose the thing which you know is what you love most go and do that thing because when you go to do that thing the negative emotions will be reduced so i'm encouraging you my dear young people then also the last thing what i want to speak about as i have said if it is something which is seriously affecting you please look for somebody professional counselor or somebody you know that can be able to help you to deal with to help you to deal with what you are going through changing you and i hand by reminding you remember you are so precious and god has created you for a great purpose never ever think of doing away or taking away your life because it is so precious and we will never have anybody else in this world apart from you make sure that you are cambridge that which god wants you to accomplish because god loves you and i love you and we love you we love you too thank you very much god bless you and those who would wish to contact me for further consultation my contact are the phone number 07 24 403 5 202 i repeat 07 24-403-202 and the email is kanini a n m at gmail dot com kanini a n m at gmail dot com I'm Sister Angelica Kanini Jiro an Augustinian missionary sister thank you may God bless you Tune to Radio Walmini 88.3.